Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. I don't always tell you what you want to hear, but I tell you what you need to hear to make informed decisions. And guys, this video is very, very important because we're going to dive into Bitcoin dominance and its importance to the altcoins, its relationship to the altcoins. Because a lot of FOMO is going to start to pop up as Bitcoin is starting to rip. But we need to talk about why it's ripping and why it may or may not be rele relevant to the altcoins right now. A lot of people are already calling altcoins are around the corner. Well, I don't think so. I'm going to tell you my thought process of when to start stacking my favorite altcoins like HBAR and Quant and Algorand and Gala which are all on sale right now. I don't think you can go wrong at these levels, but because I've been studying Bitcoin dominance and I have two different traders that I talk to from time to time that are seasons, they've went through like their third altcoins, they've been through like three altcoin seasons and they've made a lot of money and their strategy makes a lot of sense and it's a lot safer and even though you're not stacking maybe your favorite altcoin at the bottom, overall, you're going to make more money with the strategy I'm going to share with you. And this is what I'm about to start doing in my own account. Now, none of this is financial advice, but guys, this is just like tokenomics. People do not understand or study to tokenomics. And I'm telling you, if once you get a, a really good understanding of tokenomics it can keep you from getting wrecked and it definitely will keep you from falling for the FOMO because if you understand tokenomics and you learn to do the math and you understand the cycle that tokenomics create you are always 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 going to take your profits from everything outside of say Bitcoin and Ethereum in any bull run. Well, Bitcoin dominance is just as important. And I'm excited to share this thought process with you guys. We're going to take a look at a handful of charts, but it applies across the board. No matter which altcoin is your favorite that you're looking to stack, the odds are if you understand what I'm going to share with you, and if you agree with it, you're probably going to not start stacking right now. Let's get into it. Now look at this Bitcoin chart, guys. This thing is ripping. It's a beautiful thing. In two days, Bitcoin is from testing, what, 25, 25, 2 or whatever that is, to pushing 30,000. Now, what's even stronger, look at this Bitcoin dominance chart. So that's basically Bitcoin against all other altcoins. So the point is, if January 1... For instance, if you would have started stacking Bitcoin instead of these altcoins, you would be better off. Now, this has nothing to do with being a Bitcoin maxi or anything else. Follow along with me because we're going to stack Bitcoin and or I'm going to stack Bitcoin, but I'm going to swap when I think it's alt season. And I'm going to tell you when that will be. All right. One of my absolute favorite projects is HBAR. But look at this thing, guys. Outside of the very, very first part of the year, HBAR has been falling for the last six months hard against Bitcoin. So here's my point. If in January, let's just say you would have bought, and I'm making up these numbers, but let's just say you had $10,000 and you would have bought Bitcoin, or you'd have bought $10,000 worth of HBAR, well, your $10,000 with Bitcoin would be up substantially. And no matter where you bought your HBAR, you would be down. So let's just say your $10,000 of Bitcoin is at $14,000. You got $4,000 profit, and it probably would be higher than that. And your $10,000 worth of HBAR is probably would be six, seven, eight thousand, probably at best. Now here's the thing. At these prices, instead of stacking and continue to stack, 
you could have rolled that $14,000 or $15,000 worth of Bitcoin. You can swap it for HBAR right now. So you would increase the amount of HBAR that you could have accumulated if you would have used that process. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Now bear with me because it doesn't matter for the most part. Even XRP is down of from Bitcoin. Bitcoin dominance compared to XRP is starting to go up. Look at this with Gala. Same thing. Yes, first of the year, Gala pumped hard. But if you'd have been dollar cost averaging in all the way for the last couple of months, and just like now, looking to dollar cost average in, you'd have been better off buying Bitcoin. Now, that's HBAR, Gala. Here's Jasmine. Same thing, guys. It's been falling all year. It's been falling since inception. This is Jasmine against Bitcoin. The same with uh, ADA. Think about it. Why would you want to stack Cardano even though it is a great price? Guys, I'm not talking, talking, trying to talk anyone out of this opportunity to dollar cost average in at these prices. I think anyone that's buying any of these tokens I've mentioned at these prices and they hold it through the next bull run or th as it starts to, to happen and start dollar cost averaging out, they're going to be great. But I mean, if you're like me, I take investing very serious. If I can turn 10,000 into 100 grand, that's great. But if I can turn 10,000 into 150 grand with a better strategy and a safer strategy with less headaches, I'm all for it. And that's what this strategy is all about. So instead of stacking Cardano, I'm looking to stack Bitcoin. Now, bear with me. I'm going to sum this all up at the end. Quant. I absolutely love quant especially when it's like right at 100 to under $100 but if you look at the same concept quant over bitcoin it's getting wrecked and look at this it's going down as we speak so even though quant and all these projects are starting to rally bitcoin is stronger now Here's the last one. I'm going to put it all together. Algorand. I absolutely love Algorand. I think it's a no-brainer. I'm not stacking a big bag at these bottoms. I think you could trade it. But we're starting to really see Algorand much more of a new low of this bear market. Last I checked. And according to the Bitcoin dominance... It's going to get weaker and weaker compared to Bitcoin. So the, again, here's the same point. If you're looking to buy Algorand, well, if you buy Bitcoin right now and Algorand keeps going down and, that, and Bitcoin goes up, you're going to accumulate when you do the swap way more Algorand. Now, here's the reason it's less risky. If Bitcoin goes down tomorrow, if we wake up and it does a reverse two days and it's down $5,000, these altcoins are going to get absolutely wrecked. Now, here's my point, guys. Right now, the reason Bitcoin dominance is so important and why I think that is the play is because we are, depending on what part of the world it, you're from, it's in a, a recession. America is in a recession. They may not claim that, but we are. There's not one positive thing in the global economy or in the U.S. economy going on. Nothing. So the point is, yes, the bottom could be in and we could take off from here. But we've still got almost a year before the Bitcoin halving. And We've got, what, six more months of this year. A lot of things bad can, can happen. So here's the deal. When you go back and you look at the historicals, look where Bitcoin was, Bitcoin dominance was at the start of the last bull run. So if you'd have 
on Bitcoin and swapped, not buy and sell, swap it and check your tax benefits from that. There shouldn't be a issue because you're trading one $10,000 asset for another $10,000 asset. You're not making a profit, but you are accumulating more tokens. But here's the thing, guys. When it starts to fall, right, especially hard, that's the time you want to swap and start to accumulate your altcoins. So you're going to get more bang for your buck. If we're lucky, you're going to actually have a profit, right, in your Bitcoin. But again, if it goes down, if Bitcoin drops 20-30% from here, those altcoins are probably going to drop 50-75% from here. Like we think that the 2022 is the low and now it's already starting to test those like most of those coins are. Well, they can go much lower, guys. They can cut themselves in half again and again as we know in crypto. So, my point is, guys, I am not going to start stacking more altcoins until the Bitcoin dominance starts to lose that dominance. And once I see that, see, I want this chart to start to reverse like what you're looking at on the screen. And then I can roll in to the, the altcoins. Anyway, guys, let me know your thought process. I'm, I'm really curious what you guys think. Look, I've stacked, I dollar cost averaged all last year. You know, January 1, the market took off. I should have unloaded a lot of my profits, but I didn't because I go bull run to bull run for the most part outside of the trades I do. So when I stack a bag, I said, I'm going to, I'm going to dollar cost average in, in the bear and I dollar cost average out in the bull. That's my particular strategy that has served me well. And I think it will continue to be a great strategy. However, in looking at and understanding Bitcoin dominance, it's a lot safer play for the next six months. Stack Bitcoin, stack Bitcoin, and it's going to go, it's going to get stronger and stronger. Even if it gets weaker, it's going to still be less weak, so it's less risk. I absolutely love that strategy. I wish I would have understood it better last year. I would have stacked a lot more Bitcoin. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And guys, if you do not have a strategy for the next bull run, I work with people one-on-one -on -one in my coaching. It's $250. You'll have three to five different communications with me, whether it's over the phone or through Zoom. We'll take a look at your portfolio, and we will get you a game plan and a strategy in place so that you can capitalize on the next bull run. It's not financial advice. It's basically a roadmap and a game plan because, guys, the number one thing that I've seen in my coaching is people not taking profits in the last two to three bull runs, and they had substantial profits, but the FOMO got them. They didn't have a game plan. I don't want you guys to be in that same scenario. Guys, I can't tell you enough, whether you work with me, work with someone else, or just do it alone. If you don't take your profits, you will become the profits. This is peer-to-peer, -peer, guys, and almost every project out there, no matter how much they pump, they're not going to maintain a pump because the odds are, like Algorand or even HBAR, definitely XRP, Gala, projects like that, Avalanche, one of the worst tokenomics projects out there. So why do I mention all of those? It's not that they're bad projects. They're young. So what that means is when... They keep increasing the supply. The price can handle it, handle it in a bull market. It can go up and up and up. But when that's all said and done, the people, for the most part, that has been increasing those, that supply, they want to take more profits. 
And they're not going to stop taking profits. They're going to take them in the bull run, and they're going to take them in the bear market as well. And so when that supply keeps increasing in the bear market, it can't sustain it. So no matter which project it is, for the most part, I mean, you got Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Quant that are not that way, but almost every other project out there has tokenomics that it's in the early stage stages so there's going to be unlocks continually throughout the next couple of years and then you can have the conversation of something running away from you so it doesn't really matter guys if you understand the tokenomics you you, you will understand take your profits and another thing guys every successful person that and some of them that have gotten extremely wealthy in crypto guys they took their profits they're not wealthy on paper and watch it come back they took their profits and those are the things we'll talk about in my coaching anyway that's all i got for you guys let me know what you think in your co in the comment section and if you are stacking right now which projects are you stacking because i'm always looking for better projects if you haven't subscribed please do so hit that like button and come back and be part of this community take care guys